M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Have you heard of the Herms Light 2? Take a look at the screenshot I've got here on the right hand side. The Herms Light 2 is an SDR receiver, but it runs this software called Thetis 2 and version 2.10. I'll put the link in the description. So you don't have to use this on the Herms Light 2, you can use other SDR software, but this looks fantastic as you just saw. Now there are, I would say, three, three devices or three modules you need to purchase from this site here called Maker Fabs. So that at the moment you'll see in the enclosure, so it, it, it is a small black box. Now there is a larger version of this where you can add extra components, but the main part that you're going to need is the main SDR board that we're seeing here. Okay. Now there's no soldering at all required. Maybe, possibly, there is one very small component that you may need to remove, but it's, uh, it's nothing to worry about. You're also going to need, obviously the case, you're going to need, let's go across, this board here. And this is the filter board. Now I'm going to provide all the links for you. It's going to cost you a few hundred pounds. I would say about £250 to get the parts you want. There are additional parts you can purchase. This part here, the Herms Light 2 I.O. board. This board connects to the Herms Light 2 and is mounted above the N2 ADR filter board that you just saw. It provides switches to control attached relays, antennas and power amplifiers. A complete description is here. And I'll, I'll link the GitHub as well. Just coming up now. So there's that. And I'm brand new to this. I'm gathering evidence and links. And there's some nice photographs there. Thank you very much for those that provide these. Now I've started off quite basic. I've just got the, the case and the main board and the filter board. And it's already been shipped out to me. It was shipped out very quickly. And they are, you know, this company is a very reliable company. I think it's about $20 shipped. To the UK, yes, you're probably going to have to pay. I'm probably going to have to pay some tax, but otherwise, it's fully assembled. No, I take that back. It's not fully assembled, but assembling is just sliding in the two components into this box, and yes, assembling the box. There is one hole you need to drill. There's several videos showing where you drill the hole. It's it's straightforward. You're going to need a small amount of heat sink, like you would use on your computer processor chips. Uh, just be very careful and when I've got my unit I'll, I'll make a video but you know there's several out there that have made videos assembling this unit and then it's down to downloading the Thetis software which again I've never used but of course when I do do it and there's a zip here and downloads links will be in the description in the description so there is the Herms Light Plus 2 and I have purchased this extra board it did cost you know about 90 to 100 pound but what this board does is add you can hardly see the difference on the front here, but when you scroll down, it says as headphones jack to the front panel with side tone in CW mode, adds a microphone mic jack with PTT to the front panel, adds a Lambic Kia, straight or external Kia usage is preserved, and it says adds a dedicated Hadrock 50 power amplifier uh, interface, adds a dedicated ICOM A H4 antenna tuner control interface. That's like what you'd have with ICOM, isn't it? Um, adds a local speaker output with side tone. So it's good. And, and, and the station, you know, the station that makes this, Robert WA2T, who is very responsive. And I just sent the, you know, the funds using PayPal friends and that was fine. Uh, Robert also makes the larger plate for the larger case. So you can add the extra module and uh, some people prefer that. So I'm looking forward to tinkering with this. I mean, the videos I've watched and just put it into YouTube, Herms Light 2. You'll see all the different screen, you know, screen videos, shots, and it looks like you can, you know, you can change the background to how you like it. Fundamentally, if you want to really enjoy this software, you're really gonna have to learn it. Um, it seems straightforward to assemble. So I've, I've gathered all the links in this video, and as I learn more, as I use the device, I will be making videos and I think they're gonna be great fun. And yes, it's a HF 
Yeah, STR receiver. Bye for now. 7 3.